The liquidity and solvency constraints on the banker are peculiarly tight. They have both some liquid assets and they cannot survive a substantial fall in the value of assets. The reason is because <clears throat> banks issue liabilities that are extremely liquid and they have very little equity. Banks have very little equity. So if you look at a bank balance sheet, on the asset side, they have some government bonds. Okay? They have some reserves. These are their liquid assets. They can use these to make withdrawals and clearing the banks. And then they have loans. On their liability side, they have demand deposits, savings deposits, and then net worth. Okay? This is a simple balance sheet. Today, banks have lots of other stuff. Okay? The net worth is, let's say, 5%. The deposits total 95%. Let's say that the loans are 80%. Okay? Losses here have to be covered out of here. So you can see they cannot lose very much on their loans without wiping out their equity. Banks operate with very little of their own money at risk. Mostly it's other people's money at risk. Other people's assets are at risk. Okay? So the, the value of their assets, if the total value of their assets falls by 5%, they have wiped out all of the equity. Their net worth is now zero. Okay? Now these are safe. They're not going to go down. It's the loans that are the problem. A relatively small loss on the loans wipes out all their equity. Now, the banking regulators and supervisors will maintain some minimum that they accept. And it's not going to be zero. Okay? If this bank lost only 2%, on its loans, which is not, these are not huge losses, okay? If they lose 2% on the loans, their net worth has fallen to 3, the regulators are going to step in. Okay? They're going to say, you must increase your equity. Or I shut you down. Or we will shut you down. We're going to take control of your bank, okay? At something like 3%. And if this happens recently? This, ha this happens every day of the week in the United States. With, with small banks? With small banks. And with big banks? With big banks, it is extend and pretend. No, no. <laughs> extend and pretend says, we're going to give you an extension to try to increase your equity and we're going to pretend like you're safe. The, the big banks, in, in 2008, my guess is every big bank was negative net worth. Not zero, negative. Massively negative. So, Massively insolvent. And we're going to go like this and hope everything's okay. And, uh, and so, let's say, this is just a political choice. Technically, if they want to uh, behave with big bank as they behave with the small yeah. bank, they could. There's sure. no technically sure. technical limits. It's just a political choice. Absolutely, they can step in. They don't. They don't have to shut them down. They have to take control of. Them. Okay. In the in the Great Depression, this is what Roosevelt did. The uh, probably half of the banks were insolvent, and uh, Roosevelt chose a guy named Jesse Jones. Great name. He went in, he required all the top management of every bank that they took control of to submit resignation letters. 
Jesse Jones says, I'm going to keep this in the drawer. I might not accept it right now. I'm going to keep it in the drawer. Okay, I'm going to give you a chance. But if you don't change the way you're behaving, I'm going to pull that out and you're fired. Okay, I'm going to accept the resignation. But for a lot of the banks, he did accept the resignation and immediately replace the top management with people who trusted him. So yes, you can do that. Could have been done. No, the, 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 like you know, many times in the mainstream media, they give this idea that banks are controlling the state or they are more powerful of the state, and this just showed that actually it never could be like this because actually the regulators technically can always regulate banks. Well, but technically, <laughs> not politically. They they probably were controlling the state, and therefore the regulators did not do their job. The, in the film last night. <coughs> I can't remember who it was who said that the for a long time the uh, politicians were choosing regulators who opposed regulation. This is absolutely true. They were. And so if you choose regulators who oppose yeah. regulation, surprise, surprise, yeah, they yeah. don't do a good job of regulating. Okay. Is there so a crew yes. Oh crew. crew. And this was true. When I graduated, I, uh, one of my uh, fellow students went to work at the SEC. And, and this guy was much more free market than me. I, he wasn't a, a big fan of regulation. But he actually he quit because he said, you know what? So I'm working in a place that's supposed to be regulating. And everybody above me is opposed to regulation. So we can't do our job. So we quit. This was during the year, the era of Ron Wayne. So anyway, it does make a big difference.